Good morning, dear faithful. We praise God once again for bringing us together here in our St. Mark Sanctuary. For us to all pray together here in person as one, we also thank those who continue to be with us from afar and to light your candles. We receive those with love and with joy. Let us all pray at this time as one in Christ. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope. Glory to you, heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, bless your inheritance, grant them victory for the faithful and the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We lift on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God, bestow your tender compassion upon the new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, grant them the victories against their adversaries, and for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and shameful protection of good and praise with Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make friend the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you call the rule. For you gave birth to God and the truly blessed. Eleison imasu Theos, katuto mega leosu, demethasu epakuson ke eleison. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Eti demethai par ton evsavon ke orthodoxon christianon. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Eti demethai par trae episcopo emon. Alexiu, for you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Lord Father, Father bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, how greatly multiplied are those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has heard me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep because I awake and rise because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriads of people who are ta together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck down all those who oppose me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep. I wake up and rise because the Lord is helping me. O God, my God, to you I rise early at dawn. My soul thirsts for you, and in many ways my body yearns for you, as if in the desert land, impassable and parched, with such strong desire I appear before you in the holy temple to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than the earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus, I will continue to bless you throughout my life, 
and raise my hands according to, and to prayer your name. My soul will thus be satisfied as with the choice of food and marrow and fat. And with joyful lips, my mouth will praise you. And when I was remembered, and I would always remember you upon my bed, and I reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right eye and your right hand has upheld me. But they who in vain have sought my soul will enter the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrounded to those of the sword with the hand and became and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice in the Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised. For the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now be surely be shut. Again, as often I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in my morning prayers, I realize you become my shelter, my helper, and so in the shelter of your wings I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, will now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O Lord, hear my prayer. Accept my supplication in your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not in the judgment with the servant. For no living person can be justified before you. But the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. And my spirit within me became despondent while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old and I pondered all your works, reflecting on the creation of your hands. I lifted up my hands to you, and my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Quickly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, least I be like those gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have placed my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I must follow, for to you have I lifted my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have taken refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy, utterly, utterly destroy my enemies. And bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your faithful servant. Answer me in your judgment. Answer me in your judgment. Do not end the judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not end the judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in a straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. I hope, O Lord, glory to you. And at any Sikirio da Ithoma, he partisan of the Nirinis, Kitty Sotirias, Tom Sikonimon to Kirio da Ithoma, he partisirinis to Simbaros, Cosmo, Abstathias, to Nayu to the Euclision. Kitis ton pandon en oseos, skriu da ithoma. Miri ele ison. I parto a iu i kututu, ke tu meta piste o se blavias, ke povo tiu i si onde na nafto, skriu da ithoma. Miri ele ison. I parto a nefse bon, ke ortodoxon kristianon, to give you the Ithoma, to our Episcopo and Mon Alexiu, to the Mio Presbyterio, to St. Christo the Aconias, Pandos to Cleru, to Lau, give you the Ithoma, and for those in the President and all those in public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this parish and city, for every city and land, and the faithful who dwell in them. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong our glory, honor, and worship. <coughs> to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. The Oskidios, Kepephaneni, mean. If Logi Manos, Lord, Homanos, and Onomatikiri, you. All the nations have surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself <coughs> against them. The Oskidios, Kepephaneni, mean. If Logi Manos, Lord, Homanos, and on no And this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When you descended <coughs> unto death, O Lord, you hurl our immortal life, put Hades to death by the lightning flash of your divinity. And when you raise a dead from the nether world, all the hosts of heaven sing aloud to you. O Christ our God, giver of life, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Supremely blessed are you, O Christ our God. You established the Holy Fathers upon the earth as the beacons, and through them you have guided us all to the true faith. Greatly, O merciful one, glory to you. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. <clears throat> Born of a virgin, no good one, who also endured crucifixion for our sake, who by death took the spoils of death as plunder, and showed resurrection, being God. O oh, despise not the ones you formed with your own hand. Demonstrate your love for man, O oh Lord of mercy, <clears throat> and accept your mother, the Theotokos, <clears throat> who intercedes on our behalf. O Savior, and save us a despairing people. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. You, For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. When he took down your immaculate body from the cross, the honorable Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen shroud with spices and laid it for burial in a new tomb. But on the third day you arose, O Lord, and granted the world your great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The angel had come to the sepulchre, said to the murdering women, 
Ointments are appropriate for mortal man, but Christ is indeed a stranger to decay. Now Pope proclaimed that the Lord has risen and granted the world his great mercy. Both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. All surpassing every thought, all surpassing, glorious of Theotokos. Are you the mysteries with your chastity sealed and your virginity Blessed preserved? Blessed is our God always now and ever into the age of the ages. Of the mother in glory truth. to your God, oh glory For to you, heavenly King, comfort of the spirit of truth, our present everywhere and fillest all things. The treasure fervently, blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O oh good one. Not preventing the sealing of the stone from the tomb, with your rising you gave to the world the rock of faith. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the choir of your disciples, and the mother bearing women, greatly rejoicing together with us. For we are celebrating one and the same feast, and the which glorifies your resurrection by the their intercessions, open heaven and God, grant us to your wide mercy. Both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theodore. For through him, who from you became incarnate, Hades has been captured, and Adam has been called back. The curse has been killed. And Eve has been freed, death has been put to death, and we have been brought back, back to life. Therefore, we extolled him and cried out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure, as your glory to you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach this me your statutes. Us. When the host of the angels to how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you rose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried unto the myrrh-bowing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior is risen from very early in the morning, the mayor bearing woman were hastening to his tomb, lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, Same lamentation is ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you Lord, stretch forth your hand from your holy dwelling place and strengthen for us for your forthcoming service, from the so that we may stand without condemnation before your awesome judgment seat and celebrate the sacrament with your blood, for yours the power and the glory of the ages of ages. Amen. of our Father, Mother, Saints, John, Christopher, Archbishop of Constantinople, the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, Savior, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 Lord, so see you, Theos. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. God.
God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me, O God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me, O God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. We look and remember your priesthood, you're the acunate, and you're the acunate in his kingdom, always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. After your passion, O Christ God, the women went to the tomb to anoint your body. They saw angels in the sepulchre and they were amazed. They heard them saying that you are the Lord that has risen, granting mercy to, to the world. <laughs> I direct the eyes of my heart to you in heaven, O Savior. Save me, I pray you, shining me in your resplendence. Have mercy on us who hourly offend you in many things, O my Christ. And before the end, give us ways to return to you in repentance. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit it is proper to rule, and to sanctify, and to move all creation. For he is God in one essence, with the Father and the Logos. If the Lord had not been with us, who would be sufficient to preserve himself uninjured from enemy and murder of mankind? Do not deliver me to the faith of my enemies, O Savior, for in a manner of lying they will move against me, your servant. Those who trust the Lord are like the holy mountain. They are in no way shaken by the devil's assault. But those who live in God never stretch out their hands in lawlessness, for the Christ will not permit the rod to be upon his inheritance. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit, all wisdom gushes forth, as does praise to the apostles. By man, by him, others are awarded for their protest and prophets have vision. Awaken, O oh my God, in the ordinance you have commanded. <laughs> O Lord my God, in you I hope. Awaken, O Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the peoples shall surround you. Ti <laughs> Και πάσα την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Ότι ευλογητέ σου του όνομα και δε δόξωσέ σου η βασιλεία του πατρό και του ιού και του αιού πνεύματο νυν και αή. Και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμνεπέντεν, Λόρτ, you rose from the sepulchre of another world, saw the miracle and was stupefied. 
For the dead were also raised, but creation saw it and rejoiced with you. Adam also greatly rejoiced. O my Savior, the world forever sings your praise. You, O Lord, a word God, are the light of those in darkness. You are the resurrection and the life of all humanity. When you destroyed the power of death and smashed the gates of Hades, you raised everyone from, with yourself. Mortals saw the miracles and marveled. All creation rejoices in your new in your resurrection. O benevolent Lord, so we all now glorify and extol your condensation, O my Savior, and the word and the world forever sings your praise. The world ever sings your praise. The Son who ineffably shone from the Father was born of woman in dual nature. Knowing this, we do not deny the depiction of his form, but we piously make inquiry and fully venerate it. And therefore the church holding the true faith salutes the image of Christ's incarnation. And the all compassionate God, ever desiring to arouse us to a perfect remembrance of his incarnation, delivers his principle to humanity to depict the venerable figure by the painting of icons, that beholding this figure with our sight, we may believe what we have heard and word clarity and clearly, recognizing the acts and the names, the appearances and the struggles of the holy men in Christ. The givers of laurels who bestow crowns upon his holy athletes and martyrs, from whom the church, now more manifestly holding the true faith, Salutes the image of Christ's incarnation. Salutes the image of Christ's incarnation. On October 15th, we commemorate the Holy Air Martyr Lucian, Presbyter of the Greater Antioch. We also commemorate the devout father, Sabinus, the bishop. We also commemorate the devout father, Barsus, the confessor, bishop of Edessa. We also remember on this day the contest of a monk who became a martyr and, and an edifying story about him. We also commemorate a devout and God-bearing father, Euthymus the New of Ankira, and also we observe the memory of the holy and blessed fathers who convened in Nicaea for the second time under the orthodox and Christ-loving emperors Constantine and Irene, who in those impious, uneducated, and thoughtless manner said that the Church of God practiced adulterly and had taken down the icons. By the intercessions of the holy fathers of God, have mercy on us. I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said and pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate the feast with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily, lauding her miracles. Establish your servants who bestow you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you, a living in a bounden fawn, and graciously in your divine glory give glorious crowns to them. When the prophet Habakkuk to heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the Virgin, O Most High, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord my God. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence. You who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb and gave birth to the eternal Son who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. O oh, godly-minded believers, come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast, and thus extol the Theotokos, and clap our hands and glorify God, who was truly born of her. Godly-minded three, do not adore, create things in the Creator's stead, Rather disdaining the threat of fire, they trampled it, and they joyfully they sang, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace. The son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering together the whole wide world into his church to sing. O oh, all you works of the Lord to all ages, sing praises to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure. Er, er, er. Let us 
us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Holy our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Passa proi in the Sato ton Kyrion. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord to God found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she went in, she stooped and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. And Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. <clears throat> your cross, O Christ, we venerate. Your holy resurrection we praise and glorify, for you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name, come all faithful. End. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ, for behold, through the cross, the joy has come to the whole world. Again. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise the his resurrection. For having endured beginning. the cross for us, he destroyed death by ministries. death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified and overcome when judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall forgive this up, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones are humble, shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will change transgressors your ways and thy godly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth to declare both your praise. Why would desire sacrifice, I would give it you will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you'll be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings mm -hmm. and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar, 
and have mercy on me, O God. Τεστον Αποστόλων πρεσβείες ελεημών, εξαλείψον τα πλήθη των αιμών εγκριμάτων. Move now and forever unto the ages of ages, amen. At the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my money of the intercessions of the have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of, abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O God, bless your people and save your inheritance. Visit your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the prayers of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross. <clears throat> Through the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul the Twelve, and the seventy holy, glorious, and all lauded apostles, and of Herman the Apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mina, Spiridon of Trimithus, and Nectarius of Pontopolis, the Wonder Worker, the John of San Francisco, and of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brook Brooklyn, Materigi of Chicago, and Saint Luke the Surgeon of Simropol, of the Holy Holy Proto-Martyr and Archdeacon Stephen, and the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, the Mithrios, the Merce Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of Eleftherios, Charalambos, Cosmas, and Talos, John Alexander, and Juvenali, the Holy Priest Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paras, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto-Martyr of North America, and of the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious, 179 Martyrs of the Dao Pendelis Monastery, of Kiriakos and of the Unmercenary, and Healer Pandeleimon, of the Priest Confessor Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska, and Sebastian of San Francisco, and of our Venerable and God-Bearing Fathers, and all of the Holy Ascetics, of the Evangelist and Apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, of Joachim and Anna, and of the saints we commemorate today, the holy higher martyr Lucian, the devout father Sabimus, of the devout father Barsus, the confessor, and on this day, the monk who became a martyr, of the our devout and God-bearing father of Themios, and on this day we observe the memory of the holy and blessed fathers who convened in Nicaea for the second time on the seventh ecumenical council and of all your saints we beseech you the only all merciful lord hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy yara bura yara bura yara bura with the mercy, compassion, and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by your word alone created all rationally rational beings, you created all things from nothing. We pray and entreat you. You have safeguarded these, your servants, as they gnaw, now draw near to your holy church. Forgive them their sins and make them worthy to partake of your holy sacraments. And we pray, O Lord, for these children which were born to them. Grant that you will bless them, give them growth, sanctify them, give them wisdom, prudence, and good judgment. You have brought them into being and have shown them the light of the senses. Make them worthy also of the spiritual light of holy baptism in due time, that they may be numbered among your flock through your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed in your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, who according to the law were brought as a child to the temple on the 40th day by Mary as a virgin mother and were carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, O Lord, we ask that you bless these children that are presented to you, that they may know you as the creator of all thing things. Grant that they will increase in every good work that is pleasing to you, and by the sign of your precious cross, drive away from them every adverse power, and from the Lord you are the protector of infants. Make them worthy of holy baptism and due time, and achieve a place among the chosen in your kingdom. Protect them, O Lord, by your grace and the holy, consubstantial, and life-giving trinity, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The servant of God, Zachary, is churched in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, John, is churched in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall enter your holy house and worship three persons, one divinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Ecclesiaste, O Durusateu, Zacharias, is to one of my patros. Get to you, get to why ye open have my doors. Amen. The servant of God, John, is churched in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the midst of the assemblies, I shall bless and praise your holy name. The servant of God, Zachary and John, are churched in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light to the revelation of Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. Amen. Amen. You can give the daddy. How's that? God bless you guys. Maybe he's, he's got that fun sound to him still. God bless. Honoring with hymns. Honor you with hymns, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Praise be God in the lowly state of his mind, servant, for behold, hands for the generation shall call me blessed. Tintin me, O dead, on don't care of him, gale of the third, as in greed, on some set of him. Tina the author of the logo de Gusan, Tinon the Seotoko, Se Megalinome. For he has done mighty, he has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. 
Συντι μη ο τέρα τον χερουβήν και εν δόξα ο τέρα ασυγκρίτω τον σεραφήν Δίνα διαφόρος θεολόγο τεκούσα την ότο θεο τόκο σε μεγαλύνομε He has shown strength in his arm He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts Greater in honor than the cherubim <coughs> and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He put down the mighty from the thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich sent empty away. <laughs> he has helped us in Israel in the remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, to seed forever. All you born on earth with festival lamps in hand and spirit leap for joy, all you heavenly angelic orders, join in and celebrate and honoring the sacred wonders of the Mother of God. Sing the joyful salutation, O oh, rejoice. They all talk us all blessed, ever virgin pure. Eti ke tin irini tu kiriu de ithomen. Son eleison, que dia filax on imaso theos, tis i hariti. Kyrie eleison, tis Panagia sacrando hyperblogimenis, en doxu despinis imon theotoku, que ai parthenu Marias, meta pandon ton agion mimonef sandes, e aftus que alilus, que pasan tin zoin imon, Christo to theo parazo metha. Our good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Aios Kyrios o Theosimon. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet. For he is holy. Amaze was Mary Jonathan. Magdalene, to me, seeing two angels sitting inside the tomb, then unaware that it was Christ, she asked him, Tell me, sir, where have you taken? the body of my Jesus. As if he were the gardener, he said her name and then she recognized him. And she heard the Savior say, do not touch me. Go tell my brethren that I am ascended to the Father. O fathers of a godly mind, who convened in Nicaea, the seven sinners offered up to the Trinity fervent entreaties that we be guarded against every heresy and save from eternal judgment <coughs> and made worthy of the reign of heavens as we sing praising your holy assembly. O Master most benevolent, and prayer 
prayers of your mother and those of the fathers who met in the seven synods firmly established the church, O Lord, and confirm the holy faith and show all be partakers of your heavenly rule when you come back to the earth to judge the entire creation. <speaking in Hebrew> Αυτής κρίμα εγραπτών δόξα αυτή έστε πάσης τη οσίω αυτού. Πάσα πνοή και πάσα κτήση σε δόξα ζυγίρια. Ότι διά του σταυρού των θάνατων καταργήσα. Η να δείξα στι λαεί την έκνε κρόνσουα να στάσει ω μόνο τη λανθρόπο. Let the Jewish leaders explain it How the soldiers lose the king Whom they were guarding Why couldn't the stone secure the rock of life Either produce him who was buried Or else worship him as risen from the dead Then join us and say glory to the abundance of your tender mercies. Save your glory to you. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him in according to the abundance of his greatness. Rejoice and be glad, all peoples and angels sat on the stone of the tomb. And he announced to us the good news, and he said, Christ is risen from the dead, and the Savior of the world. And he has filled the universe with fragrance. Rejoice and be glad, <laughs> all people. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Before your conception, an angel brought the salvation rejoiced to the maiden full of grace again at your resurrection. And an angel rolled away the stone from your glorious tomb. O Lord, the one who brought a promise of joy, replacing the pain and sorrow. The other declared that the masters give life, reversing the threat of death. Therefore we sing to you, Lord and benefactor of all, 
Glory to you. Nite afton en timpanon ki choro, nite afton en kordes ke organo, ol in sikrotis andes, in tis psikis epistimi, ke toti o pneumati, sin dia skepsameni to makarion, ke septon simbolon i septi pateres, Theographos die charaxan, en osa festata, to je je nikoti sin anarchon. Ton logon ek didaskusi, ke panalithos omusion. Ke ston apostolon, epomeni prodilos didaches, i efkreis ke panalvuli, ondos ke theofrones. Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with triumphant cymbals, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. When the Holy Fathers brought all of their spiritual knowledge to the council, they discussed everything with the divine spirit guiding them. They inscribed the sublime creed and holy symbol as if God himself had written it, clearly explaining that co-substantial and unoriginate. With God the Father is the Son, and Logos said, begotten eternally, teaching that these five famous, truly happy, godly-minded men were right and faithfully following that which the apostles taught. Gather his holy ones to him who establishes covenant upon sacrifice. When the holy shepherds brought all of their pastoral knowledge to the council and they stirred their most righteous anger, now justifiably they drove out with sling of the Holy Spirit the offenses and corruptive wolves, and from the accomplishment of the Church of Christ they expelled them all <laughs> as having <clears throat> fallen mortally and as being ill and incurable. Thus they demonstrated themselves as loyal servants of the Lord and sacred mystics of the divine and inspired preaching of Christ. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mysteries 
the mystical Zion, fragrant flowers of paradise, the solid gold mouthpiece of the Logos, the Logos, the pride of the Nicaea, and celebrities of Christendom, we implore earnestly intercede for our souls. <coughs> thee both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos. For through him who from you became incarnate, Hades has been captured and Adam has been called back. The curse has been killed and Eve has been freed. Death has been put to death and we have been brought back to life. Therefore we extol him and cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Saint Mark, the evangelist, patron of our church, and holy 
saints that we remember today and the fathers of the ecumenical council, the seventh ecumenical council, Lucianos, the martyr, Sabinos, the bishop of Catherina, Barsus, the confessor, and Ephthemios, the mayor, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. The prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. So this is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. May the Lord God your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in his kingdom, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Holy God, holy God. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Holy Standing in the temple, we feel as though in heaven of the earth, also the heavenly gate opens for the door of your tender mercy. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν του κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λέισο. Υπέρ τη αγώνου θεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Ελαϊσό, υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτούτου και των μεταπίστεω, ευλαβία και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτό του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Ελαϊσό, For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, 
If they'll go close and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget that all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Tespres vi estis Theotokos, sotesos Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life on you, Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. Blessed who is help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead, save us who sing to you, alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. O Mary begotten Son and Word of God, although immortal, you humbled yourself for our salvation. Take us left from the holy Theophilus and ever Virgin Mary. Without change, becoming man, Christ our God. You were crucified, but conquered death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Good and loving God, in you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. 
Master and Lord our God, Amen. you have established in heaven the order of hosts and angels and archangels to minister to your glory. When Grant that your holy angels may answer with them and serve to glorify your goodness. Son and a 
το Πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την Ιν και Αΐ Εστους αιώνος των αιώνων fathers, for you are just in all you have done. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the saying is sure. I desire you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to good deeds. These are excellent and profitable to men but avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrel over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is factious, after admonishing him once or twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful. He is self-condemned. When I sent Artemis and Titicos to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I've decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing. And let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greeting to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. Irinisi, peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia. Master, who loves us, shine your eternal light in our hearts that we may better know you. Help us to fully understand your gospel message. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandment so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, the light of our souls and bodies, and you we give glory to the eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. 
A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trodden underfoot, and the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it, and some fell into good soil and grew and yielded a hundredfold. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for the others they are in parables so that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy, but these have no root. They believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. And as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bring forth fruit with patience. And as he said these things, he cried out, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel in all of you. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer. Cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O oh God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us so that they may always worship you with reverence and love. Partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. Ο πως υπό του κράτου σου πάντοτε φιλαθωμένοι σι δόξαν αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, let us pray the Lord. No one bound by worthy desires, worthy to approach, draw near, minister to you, the King of glory to serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers, but because of your immeasurable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You stood as a high priest and Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, and the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. By the power of your Holy Spirit, enable me, whom endowed with the gift of the priesthood, to stand before your holy table and to celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do you, I come with bowed prayer and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the offer and the offer, the one who receives and attributed. And to you the glory of the eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Don't be sorry. Oh, the resurrection of Christ. Of course, the angelic host. Hallelujah. 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 And we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are our God, we know no other than we call upon your name. Come on, faithful and venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For through the cross, joys come, the Lord have blessed us by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless.
blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin that my mother bare me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot on all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and hold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. a sinner and save me. At the sound of the trumpet, the Lord. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Wrapped it in a new tree. 
Then bullocks shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. May the Lord God remember you, the Akinites in his kingdom, always, now, and ever. May the age of age, may the Holy Spirit come upon you, may the Most High overshadow you. May the same Holy Spirit come celebrate with us all the days of our lives. Prirosomant in thy sinimonto kirio. Iper to protestant imi and thorant kirio they thomen. Kirio they so. Iper to a you ikututu ketumata piste o sevla vias ke fovatio ision de nafto kirio they thomen. Tourist in a mass of passes, lips, or yes, can the new can angus to kill you with their whole heart. You see, boss, the pair of sinners, and let her be. And the little son, Sonny Lee, Sonny Yak, Felix, Sonny Massa, the For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Enable us to bring you gifts and spirits of sacrifice for our sins and for the For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian life, to our lives peaceful without and suffering, and for a good account, before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Another, that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. Together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, 
who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophet. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. us, us, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Eucharistis, mentoikidiu, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship in all place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, you are holy and most holy. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands and giving thanks he blessed. He sanctified, he broke it, and he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. <coughs> Remembering therefore this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. 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 Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Changing holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 
so that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confess ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Exeretos tis panaia sacrando per vloimani sen doxu de spinissimo teo toku que ai ma partanu maria Constantine, also for the servants of God, Kiros, Kiriakos, George, Harry, Palalamos, Gus, Clara, the newly departed, and grant them rest, O Lord, let your countenance shine. Again, we ask, Lord, to remember all the bishops who rightly teach the word in your truth, everyone in holy orders, who also offer the spiritual world for the holy Catholic and apostolic church, for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace after the faithful conduct of their duties. We may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O Lord, for peace in the Middle East, for peace in Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. We pray, O Lord, for those who are suffering for our shut-ins who cannot make it for just reason, for the servants of God, Marlene, Ivan, Ethan, Bo, John, Vasilios, Tula, Joshua, Vasiliki, Zoe, Elizabeth, Eleni, Bree, Tula, Theodora, Argyros, Sophia, Laddie, Tom, Alexander, and Marlene. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name, of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Before I offer a few comments on the what we believe, allow me to offer a few reminders that, of course, on this Wednesday, we will have Divine Liturgy for St. Luke the Evangelist at 9 a.m. Also, that evening at 6.30 p.m., we will have a new steward reception. So if you are a new steward to St. Mark, and we have many over the last two years, you may come and you may sign up on Realm, or you can call the office. Please come and meet our parish council, our philoptikos executives. Please meet all of those faithful who offer their best and leaders of our church. Also today, our Sunday church school will have meet the teachers, so we ask that our teachers go with their students to the classes. And that's indeed such a great blessing for us. And finally, allow me to announce that this is the last Sunday that there's the big discount 
for our Ohi Day celebration. So please sign up today. You can sign up either on Realm directly, go to the table, ask some questions. We're looking forward to a beautiful event. And also today as you exit church, with the blessings of our Archbishop and the National Philoptikos, we're going to be making a collection for the wildfires in Greece, and we're hoping to collect money so that we can send over there to assist those who are in need. We thank our Philoptikos for taking the lead on this. If you think about the church, we talked about our pilgrimage a few last Sunday that many of us were on. And indeed, it was a blessing. And for the next two weeks, we're going to highlight two or three important aspects of that pilgrimage in what we believe so that you too can kind of walk where we walked. We were able to go to Constantinople, called the Queen City. Of course, that was the Byzantine Empire, which was the longest standing empire in the history of the world. And there was a time, of course, when it was flourishing in St. Sophia. And there was thousands and thousands. They say there was over 60 priests 40 deacons that would serve at the Divine Liturgy at St. Sophia. We know that there was a church there, Panagia Vlacherna. Panagia Vlacherna Church is located a few moments from the Fenar area, and it's a beautiful church. And it's actually a church that a miraculous event took place historically, and I want to share that with you today. And that, of course, was in the seventh century, the Avars were con going to try to conquer the city. They were coming in. All the time when you have a great empire, there were always times that people would come and they would try to overthrow it. So the Avars were coming in. I think it was uh, 620s, late 620s. And they were coming in. And they were starting to weaken the, the army, and they were starting to weaken the Constantinopolitan. So what they did was Patriarch Sergius at that time offered a prayer, and he called upon the Panagia icon, the icon of the Mother of God, just like the one up there, just like the ones we venerate in church, to be processed all throughout the city, the walls of the city in procession, in a litany. So this icon was processed throughout the city, and when it came around to the front back and to the front of the church, miraculously, the Avars were dispersed. There was a beautiful Panagia that was lit up in the skies that she was wearing all white. And thus, the white robes, you notice, Panagia doesn't wear white. She wears blue and red. And we've talked about why, but she was wearing white and that was in the skies. And that was very symbolic, of course, that she was there to protect the city. And thus, they sang for the first time, Deep Ermajo, O Champion General, we your city inscribed to you. So the city was crying out and singing to the Mother of God to protect, and the Mother of God protected. So thus, that's why this is such an important church that we visited. But what's also interesting, as you go in there, and we all walked in, to the right of the altar, there's a beautiful um, ayiasma, which is a holy water area. And of course, it's written in Greek, a palindrome that says, wash not only your faces, but your sins as well. And by the way, if a palindrome is, if you read it in Greek, the way it reads, it reads the exact same from left to right, from right to left. Wash not only your faces, but your sins as well. This is attributed to St. Gregory of Nazianzus. At the time, any time when you walk into a church, we're called to cleanse ourselves, ask for forgiveness of our sins, to cleanse us as we walk in. The priests in the morning actually read a beautiful prayer, and we say, we wash your hands, O Lord, in innocence, and we wash our hands washing. But we always cleanse not only our hands or our faces, but we ask our Lord to cleanse our sins. And by doing that, we're preparing ourselves to enter into the kingdom of God, the divine liturgy, to enter into the Holy of Holies. That is a beautiful opportunity that we had to visit Panagia Vlacherna. So now on Friday nights during Lent, for those of us who went there, for those of us who are here today, when we sing Ti Permajo, or Champion General, we can understand the reason and fully experience it. This is what we believe. May it be blessed in the Lord's name. Amen. All the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, 
man, man return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life, hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Metaparisias acata Christos, tolman epicalis esse, tole puranion theon patera, que legin. Patrimon, o endis uranis, aia cito to anomasu, er teto i vasiliasu, ienifito to telimasu, os en uranoi que epitisis, ton artemimon ton epiusion, dosim in simeron, que apes in indo e perimeta imon, ως και εμείς αφήμες ο πελέτος ημών, και εμείς ενέγγισης μας εις πειρασμών, αλλά δίσε εμάς από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only Lord begotten Christ, Son, with whom you are blessed, and from the together with your all holy, you good, and life-giving Spirit, and now and Come forever and into the ages of, of ages. Us. By your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Let us be attentive, proskomers. <laughs> the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken and not divided for every human. Master, fill the holy cup. Sanctify those who partake of him. Blessed is the firm of your saints, Service. always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, forgive me and sinner, and have mercy on my brothers, and come celebrate. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, Mark, dear worthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God, the precious, most holy body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to you, Mark, dear worthy priest, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Again, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God, the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to you, Mark, dear worthy priest, for the remission of sins and life eternal. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This has touched my lips. My sins are forgiven and my guilt is taken away. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Each week, each week in the Divine Liturgy, we, we hear two important scriptural lessons. The Gospel narrative, written by one of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. These are accounts 
of Jesus' early life, his earthly ministry. We also read from the epistles, which the majority of these epistles, these letters, are written by St. Paul. They were directed to different areas or regions. St. Paul wrote letters to the Corinthians, the church of Corinth. He wrote letters to the Ephesians, to the church of Ephesus, for example. He also wrote prison letters while he was in prison. He also wrote letters to individuals, Timothy and to Titus. The epistles hold a profound significance in the Orthodox Christian Church as they serve as essential guides to Christian living, doctrine, and spiritual growth. These sacred letters offer valuable insights into the foundational teachings of the faith and the practical applications of that Christianity. In the Orthodox tradition, the epistles are not merely historical documents, very important, but they are living texts that continue to shape the beliefs and the practices of the faithful. You have heard me speak about the importance of a daily connection to our Lord Jesus Christ, a daily connection through prayer, a daily connection through fasting, a daily connection through reading or listening to Scripture. Ever so important in our spiritual lives. You see, this keeps us reminded, this keeps us connected and grounded in our journey toward theosis, becoming like God, not becoming God, but becoming like Christ, like God. The epistles also provide a vital connection to the apostolic era, linking today's Orthodox believers with the earliest Christian communities. Over the past two weeks when we were traveling to Ephesus, we drove by Corinth, we knew the different areas that St. Paul was writing these letters to. When you go down by the Acropolis and you see Mars Hill, that's where St. Paul preached perhaps one of his greatest sermons in the book of Acts. It came alive. They are a testament, these epistles, to the unbroken transmission of the apostolic faith through generations. Let that sink in, and I'm going to repeat it. They are a testament to the unbroken transmission of the apostolic faith through generations. Apostolic succession is that unbroken chain, that unbroken train when Christ ordained the disciples. They ordained bishops to oversee the churches, and also that was passed down today. The epistles address issues of faith, morality, worship, and Christian community life, offering timeless guidance that remains relevant to contemporary believers. St. John Chrysostom once said, the Christian life is not merely about faith and beliefs, it is equally about the transformation of our hearts and our actions. Good works are the fruits of true faith. As the Orthodox Church treasures its rich theological and liturgical heritage, the epistles play a crucial role in preserving the integrity of Orthodox doctrine and practice reinforcing the church's identity and mission in the world. They provide a solid foundation for the teachings of Christ and a source of inspiration, reflection, spiritual growth for all of us who seek to walk in the footsteps of the apostles and thus draw near, draw closer to God. Allow me to highlight just a few points from today's epistle. Titus, the third chapter, the Apostle Paul instructs, this is a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm constantly, that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. It's a reminder that our faith is not passive, 
but should be actively expressed through acts of love and kindness to our fellow human beings. Our faith should not be hidden in our hearts, but should she manifest in our deeds. Our love, our compassion, our charity are the truest testimonies of that faith. Acts of mercy or kindness, almsgiving, looking outside of ourselves and serving our fellow human being. The epistle also encourages us to hold sound doctrine in turbulent times, focused and on course, but always interpreted by the church. We're easy to say, we should be talking about this in the church. We should be talking about that. Look what's going on in the world. We don't work like that as Orthodox Christians. We hold true, sound doctrine in our lives. We hold it and we live that out in our lives. And thus, those who come in contact with us will see Christ in us and thus the transformation takes place. St. Basil the Great of Caesarea in Cappadocia, where we were there just 10 days ago, offers insight. And he writes, sound doctrine is the compass by which we navigate the turbulent waters of life. We must be vigilant, protecting our faith. If we stay true to the teachings of our Lord, his apostles, we are able to remain true to him during difficulties and turbulent times. Focus, spiritual discipline. Focus and spiritual discipline helps us daily on this journey. In verse 9, St. Paul cautions us against foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and strivings about the law. These distractions can lead us away from the core message of Christ's love and salvation. He encourages us to discern what truly matters in life. In verse 14, we are reminded to learn to maintain good works for necessary uses. And again, St. Chrysostom reminds us, the needs of the poor, the sick, and the suffering are opportunities to manifest God's love in our deeds. And finally, in verse 15, it concludes with a plea, a plea from St. Paul. All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. This verse underscores the importance of Christian community, ecclesia, the body of Christ. We are not called to live out our faith in isolation, but within a loving and nurturing, supportive community of believers, the body of Christ. St. Paul's letter to Titus was written for several reasons. Spiritual guidance, understanding, spiritual disciplines. Church leadership. Paul provides Titus with guidelines on selecting and overseeing our church leaders, emphasizing the qualities of moral integrity and sound doctrine. It also was written for to correct false teaching. Paul instructs Titus on addressing these issues and maintain doctrinal purity within the congregation. It was also written for behavior and conduct, The letter contains practical advice on daily living. It emphasizes qualities like self-control, love, and good works. And finally, it was written to help those avoid controversy. Paul encouraged Titus to avoid quarrels and controversies that were unprofitable and divisive. He stressed the importance of of unity and sound doctrine. I think we can all, all of us, utilize these important teachings in our own lives. They are not just for people 2,000 years ago, but for us living today. The Orthodox Church has been called many a living tradition. The tradition does not mean that we hold on to things in the past and do not address issues today. A living tradition is listening to the Holy Spirit act now and work here in 2023 in South Florida, in Palm Beach County, in Boca Raton. That's how we listen, by God letting the Holy Spirit guide us in all we do. Let us live a life that combines faith with action, sound doctrine with unity, and good works with compassion. This is the heritage of our Orthodox tradition, and this is the path of being true disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The only way to truly let this sink in, to truly understand, to truly learn about these great epistles, 
is by opening up the Bible and reading them. So just as St. Paul at the end encouraged Titus, I'm encouraging you today. Open up your Bible. Read one verse, one chapter. Read one of the Gospels. Read something that inspires you on a daily basis. If you are not one of those people who like to read, listen to it. I told you about it two months ago. Ancient Faith has a beautiful beautiful reading of the Gospels that many of our faithful listen to. I do as well, the Epistle and the Gospels. Open it up and listen. The only way to truly transform and change your lives is by opening up your minds, your hearts, and your souls to learn, to grow, to walk toward our Lord God and Savior in discipline with askesis, spiritual discipline, walking to our Lord. May these epistles inspire us and guide us to use their teachings and strengthen our faith. You want to change the world? Change yourself. May it be blessed in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near.
that your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor cry out, the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress. Of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of his sins and the forgiveness of his sins. The Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Cali, receives his special Thank you, good job. 
Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. Sos na theos and lansu, kev rois on tinkri ronomiansu. We have seen the true Lord, we have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity, who has said, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, and myrtle, heavenly life cross and mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, we thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces stationed throughout the world and to all your people. Every good and perfect gift comes from you from above, the Father of lights. And to you we offer glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, O thou unto the ages. Torno makiri ui, eboi mano, apotuni, keos tu eolos. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a plethora of memorials today praying for those who have passed on, and I will read them a 40-day memorial for Kitsa Dizoglu, a 40-day memorial for Georgie Shevarison, a 40-day memorial for Urania Hian, a one-year memorial for Dean Niamos, a one-year memorial for Theodore Constantino, a one-year memorial for Voika Voiku, a six-month memorial for Rodika Tanesescu, a memorial prayers for John Stavrudakis, a three-year memorial for George Christakis, a third 14 year memorial for Gerasimos Drake, a 24-year memorial for Dimitra the Presidera Lefteris and Constantine the Priest Lefteris, a 30-year, a 25-year for Vasilia Drake, a 32-year for Emerald Christakis. We pray, our Lord, that they will be accepted their souls in our Lord's eternal kingdom. Metavrematon dikeon teteliomenon Tasrikhason zulon su so teranapavson Filaton aftas Isin makarian zointin parasi filanthropen In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose 
grant rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Si o Theos y mono catabasis avin, que tas o dinas lisas, ton pepe di menon, aftos, que tas fijas on zulon su, so teran apaso. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God. Pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Kitsa, Yorje, Urania, Dean, Theodore, Voika, Rodika, John, George, Emerald, Yerasimus, Vasilia, our brother and colleague, Stila Bright, Constantine, the priest, Dimitra Presbytera, Jonathan and Clara, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trample upon death and abolish the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to your servants. Kitsa, Yorje, Urania, Dean, Theodore, Voika, Rodika, John, George, Emerald, Yerasimos, Vasilia, Constantine the priest, our brother and concelebrant, Dimitra Presbytera, Jonathan and Clara, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering as a good and loving God. Forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives and does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your departed servants, those commemorated who have fallen asleep, 
And to you we give glory with you, eternal Father, in your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. <coughs> come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and right sons of God, Joachim and of St. Savinas and St. Lucianos, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all your saints, the of Contuna Ion Paternimon, Kiri Su Christeo Theo, Soleis and Kesos and Imas, to the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you, all of our visitors today. Join us in the fellowship hour for the liturgy after the liturgy. And may our Lord's blessings be upon you always. Amen. <laughs>